people that don't understand which way they have to go with some of these registrations, what needs to be registered, and so they order these hearings. Gun owners gathered in Caseyville Friday trying to get answers from the Illinois State Police. Good evening, I'm Brendan Morano. Karina's off tonight. In less than two months, state police will require anyone with an assault-style weapon or certain attachments to register their guns with the state. But there's still a lot of questions about what actually qualifies under the law. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Hinkey has more on questions gun owners still have. Illinois gun owners who own certain guns or attachments have until January 1st to register those guns with the state. But many gun owners don't know if their guns qualify under the new law. The Illinois State Police held their third and final public hearing before the new year to try to clear up some of that confusion. Although the state police that are here attempted to do a good hearing, it was a farce. The state police did not provide much new information at the hearing. Instead, a lawyer for the agency answered most questions in one of two ways, by pointing them to their website. We point you to the FAQs on our website. Or by saying they will work to address concerns with lawmakers. We will be working with JCAR in the coming weeks in an effort to do so. The state police website has a lengthy frequently asked questions page. There is an 85 page document detailing which guns fall under the law and it also includes certain attachments and modifications for guns. But gun owners and even lawmakers still say some of the descriptions are confusing or vague. I know which ones need to be registered when it's specific to a type, not a type of firearm, but that specific firearm. I have lots of questions about what appendages have to be like, for instance, there is no penalty for erring on the side of caution and registering a gun that ultimately isn't required to be registered. But Illinois State Rifle Association lobbyist Ed Sullivan believes this registration system is leading to an attempt to confiscate guns from legal gun owners. At no point has Governor Pritzker or other state leaders said they intend to use the registration database for anything other than keeping track of the remaining legal assault weapons in the state. People will think that maybe this is a tinfoil hat response. But registration has always, in the history of the world, led to confiscation. Former state senator and Republican candidate for the Illinois 12th Congressional District, Darren Bailey, spoke at the hearing. He said he will not comply with the registration component of the law. I believe this is unconstitutional. I believe that this will be stricken down by the courts eventually. And, um, I be, you know, people are going to have to do what they feel comfortable with. I, for one, will not comply. Reporting in Caseyville, I'm Cole Hankey. State police did not go into detail about how the law would be enforced after January 1st. When asked, special counsel for the state police read word for word the answer on the state police's frequently asked questions page, where it says state police will enforce by working with local law enforcement.